But your theory of how you'll get the nomination relies on you going to an open convention and overthrowing the delegates, uh, the, the, the delegate lead that Donald Trump has. In order for that to happen, you can't do that without the help of the Washington establishment that you've just been talking about. John, here's where we are. Nobody is going to get to 1237 before Cleveland. I'm not going to get there, but neither is Donald Trump. We're going to go to a contested convention. When we arrive in Cleveland, I'm going to have a bunch of delegates. Donald's going to have a bunch of delegates. And it's going to be a battle to see who can earn the support of a majority of the delegates elected by the people. Let me ask you this, though, Senator. There's no question that you are the establishment's preferred candidate in that open uh, convention competition. You don't deny that, do you? Uh, of course there's a question. John Boehner, the essence of the Washington establishment, but he's not the only called fellow. me Lucifer in the flesh. And he said Donald Trump is his texting and golfing buddy. Listen, the, the Washington cartel, the lobbyists, Donald Trump's campaign is run by Washington lobbyists. His campaign manager is a 40-year Washington lobbyist. His, his lobbyist campaign manager went and told the heads of the RNC that Donald is just playing a role, that he doesn't believe any of this, that he's just saying what he thinks the voters want to hear, and he will be someone totally different. John, you've known me a little while now. I am the same person yesterday, today, and tomorrow as president. I'm going to do the exact same things I've promised to do. We're going to repeal Obamacare, pass a flat tax, lift the burdens on small businesses, bring back jobs and economic growth, bring manufacturing jobs back to this country. Donald changes as the wind blows because the only thing Donald is interested in is Donald, whatever makes him rich. And we've seen the bipartisan corruption of Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and John Boehner who sell out their principles. I think the American people want principled leaders who actually have a core set of beliefs. But if in Cleveland uh, your scenario were to go forward, the person who has millions more votes, that won't change. He will go to the convention, Donald Trump will, with millions more human being votes, real people, regular folks supporting him. And you are hoping to overthrow that with more delegates. In a situation okay. where delegates oh, oh. over people, what, won't that lead to riots? Uh, no, it won't, although Donald m may do everything he can to encourage riots. You know, overthrow is such a loaded spin word as, as, as to, to, to bring nothing but chuckles. You know, I can tell you the last contested convention we had, 1976, Ronald Reagan had a million more votes than Gerald Ford, but Gerald Ford got the votes of a majority of the delegates. If you look back to the very first Republican convention in 1860, our very first candidate for president, Abraham Lincoln, came into a contested convention, and he was second in the balloting, and on the third ballot, he won a majority. The test is to win a majority, and Donald cannot win a majority. Majorities matter, and it's why Donald wants to change the rules and rig the system. You know, I'll, I'll use a football analogy. If you're on the 30-yard line, it's not a touchdown. Donald right now is on the 30-yard line, and he wants everyone to say, hey, the game is over because, you know, I'm past the 50. So what? He cannot earn a majority. And, and what we've got to do, you know, actually this week illustrated something powerful, John. If you contrast the people who are standing with me, Carly Fiorina, Indiana Governor Mike Pence. On the other side, Donald Trump was proudly trumpeting the support of Mike Tyson, a convicted rapist who served three years in prison here in Indiana for rape. And Donald Trump says, well, Tyson is a tough guy. You know what, John? I don't think rapists are tough guys. I think rapists are weak. They're bullies and they're cowards. And Donald may be really proud of his support from a convicted rapist. I'm proud of the support of Carly Fiorina and Governor Mike Pence and, and Republicans across this country are coming together saying, we don't need a bully. We don't need someone who yells and screams and insults. We need someone who understands how to bring jobs back to this country, how to defend the Constitution and Bill of Rights, and how to keep America safe from our enemies, especially radical Islamic terrorism. All right, Senator Cruz, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much. Thank you, John.